Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome back to Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, I don't know whether you've ever found yourself in one of those awkward situations with parents where they're interrogating you or asking you questions and maybe one of those questions that they ask are, well, we want value for money. How can you show us that we're getting value for money? Um, and often that value for money is for them seen in, in respect of exams, doing exams or other competitions or festivals. OK, so I think to deal with this, I'm going to introduce you to my three cups of value. And these three cups of value are why, how and the third cup is what. OK, and my three cups of value are to do with the fact that you can only answer parents confidently with these questions when you've thought through the whole thing yourself of your own teaching. In other words, your teaching philosophy. So here are my own three cups of value and I've just been filling up and this is just a little glimpse clearly. So why do you teach? That's really important to work out. Why do you teach? Now I teach because, because, da, 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 because I love music and I love the piano and it gives me something very, very special. It, I'm going to pop that in my cup so that I can start to fill it up. Music transports me. It takes me to a different place in a way that nothing else does. It really does help me to, I don't know, touch the stars, if you like. And the other reason why I teach is because I want to share that love. I want to share that love with others. And it doesn't matter whether they're children or adults or even people who don't even want to learn the piano. I want to share my love of music because I know it's a very, very special thing. So that's why I play the piano, why I teach the piano, because I love music. I love the piano and I want to share that with others. My why. Let's have a look at how. How do I teach? This is the second cup of value that you need to really think about. How do I teach? Think through the whole way that you teach piano. Here's a little glimpse of some of mine. And I think for me, one of the important things, I can't hold everything at the same time. Here we go. I'm going to try it that way. Um, one of the important things for me is humour. Yes, and you've got to laugh at my face, haven't you? I'm not a good drawer at any any sort. So humour is really important for me. And um, I know that if I can keep things light, and I talk about this myself, you know, if I can keep things light, um, then then the learning happens. Light doesn't have to be um, unmeaningful. Yes. Lightness can can lead to really very, very deep learning. So as part of that, as part of my humour, I have to be brave. OK, I'm doing these in the wrong way brave here's the first one that's what I really wanted to say I have to be open yeah I have to be really open to myself to other people's suggestions to getting things wrong which is to do with this one which is honest I have to be really honest and um and just acknowledge when things worked and when didn't work okay honest and of course how could I forget it I have to be curious and these are the ways that I teach I teach with humor and these other aspects that I've talked about that's the second cup of value. How do you teach? And my last cup of value is, well, what do I teach? What do I teach? Now, clearly, obviously, I'm teaching the piano, so there's a lot of technique going on. There's a lot of um, learning repertoire, etc. But I've got to get deeper than that, because actually, to be quite honest, at the heart of it, I teach messily. OK, I am quite messy. And by what that I mean, I don't go in a straight line all the time. Um, and that's partly because, of course, all pupils, you have to tailor make your lessons to suit every single pupil. Not every pupil will go from A to B to C to D. Yeah, some of them might just go A to F. Um, and I have to be able to accommodate that. So I have to make sure that my teaching can suit every single pupil. For me, that is through using the piano framework, which is a framework of all the musical concepts and all the technical skills and all the stylistic points. And I know I can reference that to help me be messy, but actually to cover all bases. So talking about musical concepts, I don't want that one, I want this one. Um, this is another thing that I teach, the musical concepts and the skills. And I think it's really important to get down to the bottom of what it is about learning the piano, because actually we're learning music through the piano. And if you don't teach these things, 
at those very early stages, you will find that the pupils probably won't be able to progress very far because these are missing. So I definitely, this is what I teach. I teach musical skills and concepts through the piano. And finally, we're on to the last thing, which is musical engagement. So for me, a really important thing is that every pupil that comes engages with the music in some shape or form on a very, very regular basis. That might be through improvisation, it might be through singing, it might be through creating a beautiful phrase, but they will all engage with that music in some shape or form, as I say. So those are my three pots of value. And these I'm just going to go over them. the why, because I love music and the piano and passing it on. The how, um, okay, with humour, with honesty, with bravery, with openness, with curiosity. And finally, the what, well, a little bit messily, but actually all individually tailor-made for every pupil. If you can sort out all those, if you can so sort out your why, how and what, then you'll find that the next parent that comes along with an awkward question, such as, well, you know, uh, how do I see the value in what we're doing? You have answers for them because you explain your passion for music, you explain how you're doing it, and you're explaining also about why the whole lesson is learning. Hope that's helpful. Go away, have a think about your three cups of value. Do share them below, if you like, in um, below the video, and let us know what you think of the three cups of value. Okay, happy teaching. Bye for now.